Something that most of us find fascinating in entrepreneurial finance is how much it matters that our goals as individuals, as entrepreneurs, as project managers are aligned with our financing choices. This is a very important topic and that's why we do it at the beginning of the course. So something that we often don't pay enough attention is how much the owner or the founder of a company influences the type of financial goals that that organization chases or aims for. Now we will take a break for five minutes and we will try to reflect, for example, recently when you've been prioritizing some of your choices, in, you can say even life choices, for example, the decision to study a master instead of staying working in the industry, or maybe the decision to start saving to buy that new car or new apartment or new house. How do you set priorities at some moments then maybe when you have to restrict the money you can spend or in the other situation, just think sometimes as a business, how would you kind of then set priorities between balancing environmental aspects or maybe social aspects and like money aspects or financial aspects? How do we put an order in those things? Take this break, talk with your colleagues, then we will keep moving on. Assuming that you've taken that break, now we look at the Okay, when you make those lists of those cases, which things do you give more importance in your life? For example, some people prefer a job that pays less, but maybe offers them the possibility to stay with their family. Or maybe they prefer to work in a company that is socially responsible or that has as one of their ambitions to generate a positive impact in the society. For example, working in a green energy company or renewable energy company. We have quite a few examples of this type of companies in Denmark. Another important thing is that, it's, okay, it's not enough about just prioritizing our goals or our objectives, but they need to be more or less related to who we are. Because if we want to hold those goals for a long time, it doesn't make much sense that we just kind of keep changing them depending on the day or the... So those, the goals are kind of something that should be quite fixed, at least for one year, two years, or for a bit of time. Like the idea is that it's not just a short-term guideline that we have. Let's now just give a quick look to one recent paper that has been developed in our the area of research in, in entrepreneurship research. It's authored by Sigurd et al., among them Mark Gruber, and they've been looking at how people develop social identity and specifically whether there might be categories or types of identity among entrepreneurs, founders, and they didn't aim for that, but we can kind of also assume that it might also apply to maybe a project manager that works in an organization. So they try to classify these three types. Now I also take some time, look at the uh, paper that you have attached also in the blackboard and try to see the definitions for what is a Darwinian entrepreneur, what is a communitarian and what is a missionary. Again, I'm sorry, this is identity uh, or social identity aspects or dimensions. Doesn't mean that you are just one of them or that you have to be one of those types. It may be a combination, but this helps us to kind of classify or organize different aspects that can define the social identity of an individual, of a founder. And maybe those aspects have a relationship with how they set goals for the future, for their organization, for even their, maybe even their personal life. I will keep moving in the presentation, but just think that you can take, stop the video, take a few minutes, look at the paper, and then come back. The last thing that we will be doing today is to spend some time looking at this very interesting interview, at least those first 10 minutes, with two entrepreneurs that created the company Zoox. This company has recently raised more than $250 million. It means that at least their story is sound and investors are very uh, eager to be part of this business and contribute to its development. 
But I would like to now we spend these next 10 minutes looking at an interview that those entrepreneurs were having about a year ago. Please pay attention to the way they talk. Pay attention to the types of messages they try to put across or share with the, this case the professor that is interviewing them. Try to identify sentences that kind of trigger your attention. And then remember those different types of social identity that we have been talking. Look whether you can relate some of them, their sentences to specific characteristics. If you have a still time, discuss this with a colleague. So what makes you think that the entrepreneurs at Zooks are more like missionary, Darwinian, or communitarian types of entrepreneurs. Now to close this first session. Again, measuring success can be a very subjective thing. When we are talking here about social identity of the founder, the entrepreneur, of your own identity, the way you feel that things that matter to you in the context of society, and then how this relates to the type of goals that you set can be very subjective. We can find many differences. What is important is that we kind of agree with ourselves. Which are the success measures that we want to have and put in place? Financial goals might be only one of those success measures. It doesn't mean that you, all of us need to be now very worried about our financial uh, goals, development and achievement. What is important is that we define them in a way that they matter to us and that they are aligned to who do we believe we are and what we want to achieve. For some people, the financial goal might be to grow as fast as possible in their company so that to have a very successful fast growth company. Another, maybe other people might prefer highly profitable uh, companies. So it says, okay, I don't have like this uh, fast growth startup, but we make a lot of money, it's service oriented, and I'm happy with this. We grow slowly, but it's very profitable. Maybe other ones uh, might prefer to just break even, survive, keep the company alive, and at the same time then be doing things that maybe, for example, they met a lot to them or they found them very interesting and so they are achieving their own success in different ways. Again, the important element here is this alignment between identity, even personal aspects and financial goals that we might have.